Good deal. So what do you want to try first on this one? I want to, I subtracted the 3x from the 5x. Oh, good. Subtract 3x from both sides. Nice. Yeah. 2x yeah. plus 6 equals negative 6, right? Right. Okay. And so now we're simply solving for x. We want to find x is equal to some number. So we're going to get this little x guy in his own. So that's why we subtract 6, right? Right. And now we get 2x equals, now, this is negative 6 and another negative 6. 6 bad guys and then 6 more bad guys. That's 12 bad guys. Or, right. I'm in debt by $6. I spent $6. Now, I'm more in debt. I'm in debt by 12. Right? Right. And then we just divide by 2. And x is? Negative 6. Very good. That's all I right. did do that one right. <laughs> all right. And I'm just going to do that an another way just for fun for anyone watching from home. You might have decided to do something else, and it's it's perfectly fine. Like like I said, there's there's lots of things we could do. Um, we could um, start out by, I don't know, adding 6 to get rid of this thing, right? I could add 6. And so we would get 5x plus 12 equals 3x. But remember, I need to get x is equal to some number. And what I really need is x is on one side and numbers on the other side. And so at this point, I need to actually get rid of that. This is the guy that's complicating my life because I already have a number here. That's great. I just need all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other. So to get rid of this guy, subtract 5x from both sides. See that? So that is the trick. You've got to get x's on one side, numbers on the other. Uh, negative 5, 5 bad guys and 3 good guys, negative 2x. And then divide by negative 2. Oh, again, we have negative 6 is x. So it doesn't matter how you start it. As long as you try to get x's on one side, numbers on the other, you should end up with x is negative 6. Right? Right. And, um, and really quickly... So what if somebody subtracted 6 from both sides? That would also have been fine because, look, 5x equals 3x minus 12. And again, I need x's on one side and numbers on the other. And so and so I want x equals to some number. Right? So I need to get rid of... This is the thing that's complicated my life because I've got a number here. That's great. I need all the x's on the other side, though. So let's subtract this dude. See? And now we get 2x equals negative 12 and divide by 2. And x is negative 6 once again. So there's lots of ways. There's actually four different ways of going about this. And you'll always get the same answer as long as you don't make a mistake.